Okay, these are uh, eggs and hatchlings that I've just pulled out of the mouths of their mothers. I have a breeding tank of a male and uh, five females. And I take a bucket of the water and I grab each female, or at least two of them. Maybe I, th I think I did a third one as well. And I um, just kind of shook it gently and the eggs came out and the hatchlings came out. And I put them in this little tank. I did try putting them with this other tank over here where I've got two week old um, fry. But those fries went psycho and started, tried eating them. So obviously these guys are too young to put with a uh, young fry. So this is my first time actually uh, kind of swishing the mouths of the, uh, the females in the water. Um, yeah, they're pretty weak after. It took me 15 minutes to chase and catch them in the tank, but I got a really big tank. Kind of wore me out too, but they were worn out, so we'll see what happens here. Supposedly, by remove the eggs from the mouth of the female, that the female will be able to spawn again in maybe four weeks. Uh, you can see that they look like tiny little fish, the ones that are swimming about, with the egg sacs sort of in the middle of their bodies. And I understand that's something that they'll just consume over the course of about a week or so. And then the rest, you see the eggs. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Just to give you a reference, those uh, eggs are about one millimeter in diameter. And these little fish are, they do have tails, so they're about two, two and a half uh, millimeters uh, long. Good. And in this tank, I just have an air stone and a little uh, 10 watt heater. The ambient temperature out here is around 75, 76 degrees, so I think uh, water temperature will be fine. I'll just keep an eye on water quality. But there they are. So these guys have been uh, are ha just hatched in the last few days. Okay. Let me show you the ones that are about two weeks old. There they are in the corner, and let me uh, try to move them about. There we go. There you can see them. Oh yeah, I've got about 40 in here. I came home a week ago from church and found about 40 of these guys sitting in a little uh, blue barrel, which is our sump tank for the larger breeding tank. Okay. There they are. Good. Here's the breeding tank. Kind of large. And we get a light over here. Okay, there's a little uh, motel down there for some privacy. Uh, water's a little bit cloudy because it just took, uh, like I said, 15 minutes to catch a few of the females. Didn't do all of them though. Okay, and here's the other uh, tank where I found the uh, the fish. It's just a runoff overflow from that tank. Okay, well it's pretty exciting. Our whole goal was to raise tilapi. We just got these fingerlings back in February. It's already near the end of April, and we're already producing uh, babies. I was told these uh, tilapia breathe like uh, roaches. I believe it now. Okay, I'll show more later.